Nick, you were in Afghanistan on 9-11, almost 10 years ago, uh, and the world is now only beginning to learn that the United States, in some sort of coordinated operation, whether with the assistance of others or not, the United States has confirmed that bin Laden is dead. Uh, go ahead and weigh in. <laughs> If Wolf, if it proves, as we are beginning to understand that this, uh, his killing has taken place in Pakistan, that he's been hiding in Pakistan, close to the capital of Pakistan, Islamabad, this is also going to have uh, very uh, difficult, is going to make our relations with Pakistan even more frayed and even more difficult. It would not be difficult to imagine either that there would be some sort of protest and backlash on the streets there of Islamabad, but this has been exactly the concern of uh, Western officials, that bin, bin Laden has effectively been hiding in plain sight, if you will, that he has been uh, across the border inside Pakistan, that he has been hiding uh, not in the remote border areas, but close to one of these major cities. And if indeed it is true that it, Islamabad, that it is Islamabad, then this is going to strain U.S., Pakistani, uh, Pakistani, European uh, relations. Uh, it's also going to put a huge strain on the government of Pakistan. This has been one of the most difficult and thorniest of issues for them to deal with the fact what happens if bin Laden is arrested or killed on their soil, because it's going to immediately show um, that, that he has been hiding there, that despite their claims that they have been trying their best to capture him, um, that there are holes in their intelligence operations that they've been unaware of, and that he has indeed been able to sort of duck out of sight there. The immediate implications for al-Qaeda worldwide, um, it is unlikely to, uh, to kill off al-Qaeda, uh, but it is going to have a huge psychological impact on members of the organization. Uh, it is also very likely that we're going to hear members of the organization on the Internet saying that they don't believe this. So very likely um, the United States, uh, President Obama, are going to have to go uh, quite some distance to prove and to show uh, to these al-Qaeda adherents that they have, in fact, killed Osama bin Laden. And that's very much what I think part of what we can expect from President Obama when he does speak, because, of course, al-Qaeda members are going to say that this is not true, that this is part of Western propaganda, and they won't believe it until they see some evidence. And I think that's what we, we will be looking and hearing uh, shortly.